What's up guys, Matt the Long Hair Little Guy, and this week, I don't even know what this video is gonna look like because I'm just straight vlogging. Okay guys, so what's gonna happen uh, today, I don't even know. I'm at my first property and it's 9.01, so I think I'm just gonna take you guys along for the ride and just chit chat with you, chippy chap. Have you guys heard that word before? I said that a long time ago. I'm just gonna chippy chat with you guys and just take you guys for the ride. Uh, I doubt that there's gonna be very much actual mowing footage, but I'll try to give you some before and afters maybe. But I'm showing up at this uh, commercial property and uh, I'm gonna knock this out and then I'm gonna get on my road. I got seven today and uh, we'll see how this video turns out. Pfft. That might suck. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie guys, it might suck, I don't know, but you guys can let me know in the comments. All right, so here's gonna be my first property, all right? Here we are, we are at the next property, and I'm still vlogging. Hey, let me tell you guys a story real quick. Hey, do you guys remember that video where I got fired and the gal told me that I mowed like a 10 year old? And you know, I wasn't too, too broke up about it. I mean, I was kind of okay, but I didn't expect it. But the craziest thing, I got this text uh, today, or not, not today, yesterday. I got this text yesterday and somebody was like, hey, you know, I uh, I was told to give you a call because uh, I needed my lawn mode and um, it was so-and-so. And I was like, so-and-so? <laughs> the one that fired me? <laughs> you know, I never got rehired. You know, sometimes you get the call back, you know, like they fire you and then they figure out, no, you're actually pretty okay. And, uh, and then they call you back. Well, this one is kind of crazy because because they didn't call me back, but they did refer me. So I, I was like, oh, that's funny, man. That's funny. So it just validates that uh, just because you get fired doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing a bad job or you're a bad business or you're not going to make it. So stay encouraged, guys, on that. Hey, here's the next property. I'm going to show it to you guys, okay? Guys, we're at number three now out of seven, and there's a couple things I want to say. No, there's just one. You're going to have to wait till the next lawn to figure out what the couple is of the couple. But anyways, this one, man, I love these things. You know what this is? This is a cooling towel. Cooling towel. I thought this was like some kind of new thing that was going on, but at Lowe's, what you do is you put it in ice water. I got it in here. See? cooling towel and you put it around your neck and what it does is you put something cold around your neck on a hot day which is not really all that hot today it's hot but not that hot and uh but it just feels nice and it you put it around your neck and it drops your core temperature i don't know how you take your core temperature maybe you do but i don't know how to take core temperature but nonetheless it keeps your, your temperature down this thing is awesome man it's a lifesaver you guys should get one of those maybe i'll give it away one day but anyways, I got it at Lowe's. 
So I'm at number three. I'm going to knock it out. And uh, I'll give you guys a look at it. guys what were you guys doing um we mommy was mowing kathy's yard and we were watching tv yeah you weren't mowing no we why not mowing. because we're not tall enough and old enough oh okay not... who told you that uh, you oh <laughs> watched it and now we did Guys, are you guys ready for the the couple thing? The the second thing I talked about the towels. Now the second thing, the other thing that was on my mind was about like enjoying your business, right? Part of the thing with uh, straight vlogging today is it's more fun. If I could be honest with you guys, it's just more fun to just talk to you guys while I'm out mowing. So uh, that's what I'm doing, guys. I'm just having some fun and I'm just taking you guys along with me, and hopefully you guys are enjoying the ride as well. So. Uh, anyways, guys, here we are. We're at the next one. Um, I don't know. Is this number two or number three, number four, number four, maybe? This is a brand new property that I've just taken on and probably just for this season because it's the end of the season and, uh, you know, things slow down. So I took this one on and it's a first time mow and it's a little bit overgrown. So check it out, guys. There you go guys being it's the first mow i'm just going to tell you a little bit what about what my plan is uh, as you guys can see that it looks like it's been mowed more times than it's been uh, trimmed and edged so uh, nobody likes doing trimming and edging and honestly even i don't like it though so much so what i'm probably going to do is i'm probably going to edge it out i'm going to use the uh, gator edger blade which is amazing for overgrown edges highly recommended by the long haired little guy and then i'm going to trim it out first a little bit uh, because I want to be able to mulch up a lot of that extra grass that I'm going to be trimming out. So um, I'm not going to walk you through the next one, but you'll get the after picks. Happy mowing today. Guys, you know, through the course of the day, I'm just like sweating and sweating and sweating. And I got this thing that's just pouring on me. I was so wet, my clothes are so wet, I had to go home and I had to change my entire get up, yo. So, I am dry, I am ready to rock and roll again. I got three more to go, but I tell you what, I'm a little behind. I got four done and it took me four hours, or five hours. So, I'm a little behind, but that's okay. That's okay, I'm, I'm kind of used to that. Y'all are probably used to that too. So, I got something for you guys while I walk over this lawn. There's a term that I've heard, and uh, it made me realize that I really am getting older. Uh, the term was, actually, I can't just say the word. I have to say it the way it was said. 
I'm putting you on blast. I was like, what? Putting me on blast? I heard that at work. Somebody was saying that, like, like, oh, I'm putting you on blast. And then I heard, I heard it in a song. The guy said, like, I'm on blast. I have no idea what that means. No idea. Maybe you guys can help me out with that. Put that in the comments if you would. So anyway, here we go, guys. Next one. Uh, this looks overgrown. And to be honest with you, it is. Guys, I'm on number six. Only two more to go today, including this one. And uh, kind of hung up on this blast thing. I just don't get it. I mean, it almost kind of sounds like adult timeout. You know what I'm saying? You're on blast. Are there rules? If that's the case, are there rules for being on blast? I mean, like, no talking. Like, there's no talking in blast. You're on blast. Stop talking. I don't know. Step man, if you're watching, maybe you're a young guy. Maybe you you maybe you know what being on blast is. Hmm. Well, here it is, guys. <laughs> If you saw before, there's not much room in between the fence and that AC unit. I'll tell you this, guys. I'm going to put a picture in here. But uh, my 21 just barely fits through there. My 21! Guys, I'm at my last lawn, six down, out of seven, and I'm happy. I've been taking it easy. I've been taking it uh, slow, and I'm going to knock this out and then get home. Hopefully be home by 5.30, which would be a nine, no, an eight and a half hour day for seven lawns. And that's not too shabby if you don't ask me. I don't know if that made sense. But anyways, guys, I'm going to give you a, a, a look at this property and... Uh, then we'll do the shots at the end, and that'll be pretty much it. I'll have a little tag time at the end of it. And until next time, next week, I'm Matt the Long Care Little Guy. Pray for me, and I'll be praying for you. You know it. And don't forget to pray for Texas Veterans Power Outdoors, okay? You said you would. Come on now. All right, guys. Love yous. Peace.
guys, the time's come for tag time, and I appreciate you guys sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's a little different for this guy, and if you liked it, hey, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like that style of video. There's a lot of guys out there doing that vlog style video, and I've been kind of like this uh, back and forth type of guy. So anyways, uh, if you liked it, let me know you liked it, and I'll do some more of it, all right? Uh, but the time has come for tag time, but before we go into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I thank you for visiting the channel. So for tag time, this is going to be kind of a continuation of another tag time that I had. You guys may remember it was about being the... Uh, exception versus living an exceptional life and just to kind of recap what I was talking about on that is there's people who actually live the life being the exception right they always expect to be the exception to the rule rather than to make uh, decisions in their life that actually make for an exceptional life uh, so how does that actually relate to Christianity how does it relate to my walk with well, the Lord's been dealing with me that with me that with ugh. the Lord has been dealing with me on that uh, for at least a month now right now and uh, there's a particular instance at work that's been going on uh, we got our parking lot all tore up and there's a controlled area and our normal vehicles are not allowed to be in there but there's one guy happens to be well I'll just say he's a guy and he thinks he can park his vehicle in there and you know what? it's really not that big a deal I'm not sure why that bothers me accepting that this guy thinks that he is an exception right and that was bothering me well the Lord has taken this to a whole new level with me uh, and what he taught me was that Jesus never thought of himself as the exception he just lived the most exceptional life that any man has ever lived he was sinless but then he went to the cross and died for our sins uh, so that we could be the exception except we're not called to live our life that way we're supposed to live our life in a way that is consistent with Jesus life and that is an exceptional life so the, the question that the Lord gave me was Matt do you want to be the exception is that why you're upset with this guy for doing something that you don't think he should be doing and that nobody else is doing do you actually want to be the exception is that why you're mad or do you want to be exceptional so the question to you guys is the same thing I'll tell you my answer but I think we could all agree if we were to answer that question, we, we, I think we would rather want to be exceptional people and we don't want to be the exception. Nobody likes the guy that's on exception all the time. We want to be respected for the way we live our life, right? And it's not even about being respected for that. It's about becoming more like Jesus. So for me, guys, that's the end of the tag time for the most part is I choose to live an exceptional life and I'm not going to get my... Uh, my briefs in a bunch over people that expect to be the exception because I don't want to be them anyway. I want to be like Jesus. I want to live an exceptional life. So uh, thanks be to God for speaking to me on these types of things because it really helps me get past those little things that really don't even matter. I hope this, is encur this encourages you guys to do the same thing. Anyways, guys, I know that was a mess, but I hope that it spoke something to you. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, let me know. Let me know what you think. Love you guys. I'm praying for you. You pray for me. All good to go. Peace, guys.